This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Today is part of a, a, my ongoing sort of how-to series um, uh, and describes how one can apply to stay in the United Kingdom and what routes are open. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to apply for leave to remain in the United Kingdom as a parent. This is a route that, uh, that is open to a large number of people, potentially large number of people, who may not be aware of it. While it offers a route to leave, uh, to remain in the United Kingdom and ultimately a route to settlement and potential nationality, it can be complex. And the purpose of this video is to set out uh, what is required. If you need specialist immigration advice, then please get it from a specialist immigration advisor. The rules and procedure I'm going to explain, however, before anyone makes an application, is again to reaffirm the fact that you will need to get proper legal advice before making any such application to avoid any unusual refusal. Um, the reason for this video is it's informative. Now, let's turn to the rules. It is possible to get leave to remain in the United Kingdom if you are the per uh, parent of a person who is British, has indefinite leave to remain, or has limited leave to remain under Appendix EU, or has lived in the United Kingdom for seven years, and paragraph EX1 of the immigration rules apply. More on EX1 later. Uh, the rules surrounding this kind of visa are fairly complex, and it is not simply of having a, a child who is British, perhaps because of their other parent. It is also important that you have contact with the child. There's no point having a child and then abandoning the child and then saying you can stay in the United Kingdom. You will get nowhere. It is worth noting that, that if you are eligible to apply, leave to remain as a parent, you must apply under this route instead. You can't apply under a different route. Um, the rules are quite specific in that regard. You cannot simply apply for leave to remain as a parent if you also have a qualifying partner. Uh, we have written a separate video on applying as a partner and spouse, which you can find um, uh, on my video channel. For this reason, the requirements envisage a position where the person, the applicant, is separated uh, from the child's other parent. The requirements that have to be met if you're applying as a parent are found in at sections, and forgive me for the letters, E, E, C, P, T, and R, L, T, R, P, T of the immigration rules. Forgive the scrabble. Um, the child must be under 18 if you apply, or if you're applying for an extension under this route, they must not have developed an independent rela relationship or life. They must be living in the United Kingdom and be British, have ILR, have pre-settled status, or have lived here for seven years, and as I say, EX1 applies. Please note that this video will discuss the requirements for applying as a parent if you are already in the UK. There are different but similar rules for applying for entry clearance as a parent. So, what are the requirements? Um, On to the main requirements. Either one of the two following requirements must be met, and the word must is very important in dealing with the Home Office. One. You have sole responsible parental responsibility for the child, or the child normally lives with you and not the other parent. The other parent must be British, have ILR or pre-settled status. Two, and this is the, the crucial one. If you do not have sole parental responsibility for the child, or the child does not normally live with you, the partner carer with whom the child normally lives with must be uh, British, have uh, ILR or pre-settled status, and not be your partner, i.e. You split up. Next, and this is the crucial factor in this particular type of case, sole, par sole parental responsibility for the child, or normally that they live with you, or, and this is uh, where a lawyer can help you, direct access to the child as agreed with the other parent or ordered by a court. So there'll need to either be some sort of arrangement um, or there need to be some sort of court order, under perhaps a child arrangement order. You, you will also have to show that you are taking and intend to continue to take an active role in the child's upbringing. It's not simply good enough to say you've got a court order and then abandon the child. There are also maintenance and English language requirements, amongst other technical requirements. One of the requirements is that you already have a visa, the immigration status requirement. If you do not meet this requirement, then you're going to have to fall back on paragraph EX1, which I'll come to. Things can get a bit complicated if you're separated from the other parent and contact has to be facilitated by the court. Contact has to be direct and you have to show that you're taking active role in the child's upbringing. You don't actually need a court order, um, as is the case that says that if you're trying to get a court order and you're in the process of getting a court order, you'll also be granted leave. Now, turning to paragraph EX1. 
paragraph here is it, it, it's quite onerous. Um, it, it, it allows for exceptions to be made if you cannot meet all of the requirements in the immigration rules, such as having leave or the English language requirement. Um, also, um, if you can't meet the financial accommodation re uh, requirements. Where EX1 applies, you will still have to show that you have a genuine and, and subsisting parental relationship with a qualifying child um, and taking into account the best interests of your child, it would not be reasonable to expect them to leave the United Kingdom. Now, if you're separated um, and your partner isn't with you, then that's not going to be too difficult to show if you get the evidence right. This is where things start to get a bit complicated. There's a whole array of case law on when it would be reasonable to expect the child to leave the United Kingdom, and each case is decided on its own facts. Uh, the conclusion, therefore, is that Leave to remain as a parent is an option open to many people, but the requirements are technical, complex and not particularly easy to understand. If you want to apply for leave to remain as a parent, get in touch with uh, an immigration law expert, someone that's reputable, or you can always contact me. That's not to say that I'm disreputable, but I, I don't want to be seen as just advertising myself, um, and get the appropriate advice. So this is a route that is open to people that have a child, but are not with the, uh, that have, say, split up with the, the, the child's uh, other parent, um, but maintain contact with the child. As I say, if you don't have a court order, it can be more difficult to prove, um, but it's something that I can definitely help you with. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this how-to video. Um, if you have, um, uh, please like it uh, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.